What's happening, everybody? Crispy Divine Central Mass Vapors. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I really do. So, what's on store for us today? I have got a bunch of little things to talk about. We're going to go from here to there, to here to there, and to everywhere. And we're going to do it, and we're going to have a lot of fun. I promise. Swear to God, all that is holy. Swear to God. Ready? Go. <laughs> So first on the agenda, I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Chris. He smoked 20 cigarettes or more a day for a good 20 years. Gross, right? Exactly. Until one day, he found a perfect thing to do to take him away from such a horrible, nasty habit. That was called vaping. Yes, you guys guessed it. It was me. But that's not the point. The point was, is I discovered what would become one of my favorite vaping companies of all time. That company is Inokin, okay? Inokin is a manufacturer of vaping stuff, right? Mods, tanks, etc., coils, whatever, and now batteries. Yes, they make their own batteries. What is cool about Inokin is that they are always striving to up the ante. When it comes down to the stuff that they make, it's always super high quality and it's also affordable. You're not gonna break the bank by buying any of their mods, which is just perfect, okay? Today, we're here to talk about the Inokin Disruptor, okay? I know you guys have seen these. Uh, for one, uh, it's all around the internet. Uh, there's a buzz about these little boys. Uh, and also on um, the ECF forums, Inokin has teamed up with them to give away 400 of these, okay? And they have this cool little contest, which I've never really been one to go buck wild about a contest. I'll sign up for it, but I don't go crazy like, you know, sharing it all over the internet. But this one, you actually could um, spread your um, email, I'm sorry, spread this specific link around and the more people that signed up under you, you would get points. And at the end, they would give away this grand prize, which is this Inokin briefcase full of Inokin products. And now that to me is definitely worth fighting for, okay? The briefcase alone I want, okay? So anywho, if you haven't seen this, I'll give you guys a little bit of a recap of what this bad boy is. Okay, so Inokin put out this. Now, it looks funky, right? It's kind of cool. Now, what makes this thing so different is that it, there is technically an internal battery, okay? So this isn't the type of mod that you're going to take an 18650 out of it and put it in the wall, but it's also not like an MVP where the battery is connected to the entire mod, or I should say isn't connected like completely connected. It is connected, but it can come off. I'll show you. There, okay? So this is the mod. No, I'm sorry, this is the mod, this is the battery, okay? It's a 4,000 uh, milliamp hour battery, which of course is huge, huge capacity, which is great. And Inokin's whole reasoning behind doing this was basically to keep, to make things safer, uh, which I think is just terrific. This actually will, um, it'll um, charge via micro USB. And of course, like all Inokin products, they have the charge and vape uh, technology, which is great. Uh, meaning that basically you can have it charged, plugged in, and you can still vape and at the same time, which is terrific or whatnot. Uh, so one of the things that is really awesome about this and very much different than other uh, mods by Inokin is that you can vape this down to 0.2 ohms, okay? So you can actually sub ohm on this. It does go to 50 watts, so you could definitely get, uh, you know, 
you know, a good performance using like say a dripper or whatnot. Um, and it also can go up to seven and a half volts. So for me, I'd say running something around like a 0.4 ohm coil, uh, you know, running it at 50 watts is gonna be a lot better in my opinion than running it at 0.2 at 50 watts. Because as you know, doing Ohm's Law, you're gonna get a lower voltage by running the 0.2 versus uh, running the 0.5 or whatever. You're gonna get a higher voltage and middle of the road mod uh, wattage, if that makes any sense. Anywho, what else is cool about this little thing? I love it because not only is it different than any other mod I own, but it also, um, you can buy the replacement battery, okay? So if you have two or three of these and you're on the road, it's something that you can just keep in your pack, your bag or whatever, and you just clip them on when you want, and if you need to charge them, you can charge them in your car super, super easily. They come in different colors, so of course, you can like switch them around and uh, always have a different color mod. So I think this, this little mod is a great starter mod for people, okay? Because for me, it's gonna give you enough watts to run something when you get into it because you know you're gonna be like oh my god i gotta run this or run this but it also is you know safe enough for somebody to you know be able to know that you just gotta plug it in and go and it's got all kinds of good safety features um there's a 15 second cutoff timer will shut the mod down if you're going too long um you know so there's a lot of really good things about this mod the best part about this mod is the fact that, and it can, and they've always been great about being affordable, okay? You're not going to break the bank by buying something like this. I purchased this mod for $41, okay? It was around 50 bucks, and then there was a coupon code and whatnot, or it was like maybe 47 with a coupon code, whatever the case may be. It brought it down to like $41, $42. I've seen it no um, no more than I believe 50 bucks I've seen it in the rep and it comes with the you know the mod the battery and their charging um, cord and then of course if you want to buy replaceable batteries which of course why wouldn't you they run just like the price of like a single 18650 so you, so or a high quality one I would say so you can buy it for like 13 to, I've seen it as high as 20 bucks. But if you do your, you know, looking around, you're not going to have to pay that much. So as far as this mod goes, is it my all-time favorite mod that I use daily? No, because for me, there's other things about it that I want to, I would like to have. Because even though I may not use 150 watts, I like having the option to use that, okay? So for me... This is something I'm going to keep a tank on like this, okay? A nice Delta II or whatever, um, and, you know, you're always going to get good performance out of this, okay? And super long battery life. Nice LED screen. Um, there's really not much bad you can say about it, especially because of the price and because of the ease of using it and, of course, the ease of charging the battery and having extras. This is something that's going to make for a very awesome pr uh, present for a smoker, you know, you get them this, you're not gonna break the bank, and they're gonna be able to use it really, really easily. And um, like I said, you have all kinds of options if and when you decide to say upgrade to another type of tank or, you know, say a dripper or something like that. You can still use it, use it safely. In a constructor, I got this one off of a, of a website that I've never used before. It's Vapor Rider, okay? There was a, a coupon code uh, to get this for like 41 bucks or whatever. I'm not sure if it's still live or not. If it is, I'll leave a link in the description. But uh, if you go on to like say, um, I think it's like deals.com or vapingcheap.com, they always have these coupon codes for you. Uh, so I always use that, I guess. Uh, also, if you do choose to get something like this, Always remember that this is the first, you know, push of this, okay? So who's to say what is going to be coming out next? So part of me always wonders, should I have waited? Because they're famous for coming out with this. And then they come out with the kit, which comes with, like, their new iSub G tank. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit more expensive, but it comes with the tank and everything. So whatever. So be that as it may, I love this thing. Let's see how it performs, okay? Sure. <laughs> It's delicious. 
The LED screen's really nice. It uh, it shows you know the uh, voltage uh, in real time. It shows the um, ohms. It shows the wattage. It's got a little uh, battery. Um, you know, so you can see how charged the battery is. And of course, like all Inokin products, it's got the color-coded uh, power. So when you hit it, it's green, it's, you know, it's, it's fully charged or it's at a certain charge. Then it goes to yellow, then it goes to um, red, and then, you know, you got to change it or charge it rather. Um, the charger is actually on the back here. So that's another plus. You can keep it standing up while you freaking have it charging. Like, ugh, I hate those ones where you have to charge it on the bottom. So you have to keep everything lying down. What a pain in the ass. This thing comes off pretty easily. Um, you know, I think there's like you know, a way that you get used to doing it. But I haven't really had to take it off that much as I only have the one battery right now, so I haven't had to. My only, like, issue with this is the top. I think the top, like, of the battery could look a little bit more like the rest of the mod because as it stands, it kind of looks like the bottom of the um, atomizer. I mean, the bottom of the mod, if you know what I mean. So, but that's just me being picky or whatever. You can buy the mod in gold, silver, or black, and the colors come in like nine or ten colors or whatever. And if you follow in Inakin on their Facebook uh, channel, they're always asking, you know, what colors should they come out with next, and what this, that, and the other thing. So, you know, they'll allow you to put your two cents in. Plus, they're constantly giving them away. So, if you find yourself in a, you know, a bit of a, a money jam, and you don't have, you know, something like this, uh, you know, fifty bucks to spend. Go on there and try to win one. It can work, I promise. So, awesome. So before I uh, go on to the next topic, uh, I wanted to tell you that I made kind of a boo-boo. This actually has a 2,000 milliamp hour battery. Another mod that we're gonna talk about has the 4,000 milliamp hour battery. I'm not perfect. Please don't judge me. Okay, let's move on. All right, everybody, so it's time to talk a little bit about some juice. It's a juice time. A ju 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 juice time. So a while back, I, or I don't know, maybe I've been talking about it all this time, whatever. I've mentioned this company, Charlie Noble. If you remember correctly, they sent me this nice big uh, package for doing literally nothing. I basically made a picture and it got a lot of likes and they sent me out all this juice, which I thought was just terrific. But anyways... This whole um, time, I've been vaping on a few of their flavors nonstop. Tripoli, which is one of the, actually the first tobacco vape that I've actually loved. Okay, love it. Uh, their Charlie's Custard is unbelievable. Uh, Siren Song, which is a nice strawberry vape. And uh, their PB cereal, peanut butter vape, is great. And they also have this pistachio RY4. Um, so I've been vaping on those here and there, whatever. Well, all of a sudden I was online and I followed them on Facebook, of course. Everybody knows that. I'm a junkie for Giant Vapes as well. And Giant Vapes sells Charlie Noble. Um, and they haven't picked up this line we're going to talk about yet, but I'm hoping they do. Anywho, they came out with their own yogurt line. Of course they have to, okay? Yogurt's the new fad. It's the new custard, right? So everyone's going to try to do their own version of uh, yogurt. And some will do it right, great, and some will do it crappy. Well, Charlie Noble has done it wonderful, okay? And the first thing that makes me go nutty over the Charlie Noble, um, the custard, um, yoga, ooh, slap myself on the toes and the nose. Slap myself on the tongue, I've done it wrong, I've got it wrong. Slap myself in the Todd, Mod, Flod, Claude. Slap my nose in a hurry, I gotta make it all work. Slap my nose in a taco, it smells like beef and cheese. Anywho, one of the things that I just love about the new Charlie Noble yogurt line is the fact that you have an option to buy a sample pack okay that's terrific everybody wants to try before they buy and nobody wants to try and buy a 30 ml bottle to try and not like it so coming out with a sample pack is great but too many times these sample packs are like what like four milligram i mean four mils of juice I can't get in on that, right? So 15 mils, 10 mils, I can deal with, but four mil, no. So what do they do? They put out a three bottle sample of 15 mils each, okay, of their new yogurt line. And guess what it comes in? 
Look at this thing. Isn't this the cutest thing you ever did see? It's almost like they gave you a thing of yogurt, but inside it's not yogurt at all. It's bottles of e-juice. Yes, that's right, bottles of e-juice. What a wonderful idea this is, okay? So let's talk about it. There's three flavors. Uh, I'm not doing a full-on juice review on this. I just got this yesterday. I'm just kind of giving you guys a heads up about what's to come and also what my first impressions are um, of this juice because we all know that your first impression doesn't mean it's gonna be your last impression because things change, right? Right. So let's talk about the first one, fruit on the bottom. I got to give a big shout out to Route 1 Vapors in New Hampshire because I walked in there and I, they have the most unbelievable shop and they had Charlie Noble's line and I asked them if they had this to try and they hadn't got it in yet but they had they had gotten one of these in for them to try and the guy just handed it to me and said go make yourself comfortable and try it. I thought that was brilliant. Uh, but anyway, I was lucky enough to try these already, but fruit on the bottom, I'll just read the prescriptions. Prescriptions? <laughs> Seriously, Chris, you're crazy. I'm going to read the descriptions of each juice, and then I'll show you what my favorite is so far, and then we'll move on, of course, yeah. So, fruit on the bottom. So, uh, inspired by a trip to the market with a noble family, we selected the best fruits available. They've been picked at the peak of ripeness and then complemented with a creamy, tangy, fresh yogurt. Better get a bottle before it's gone. Now, fruit on the bottom, I was like, oh, I don't know why I like it, maybe, I don't know, but it's delicious, okay? It is exactly what they say. It's tangy, it's fresh, it's fruity, it's delicious. Let's move on. Oh, each of these are 35 PG and 65 PG. But if you know Charlie Noble, some of their juices may be 35, 65, but some of them might be 65, 35, whatever. They decide the PG VG ratio during the tasting process is how I assume they do it because they feel that one may be better this way and mum, mum, one may be better another way. So that's brilliant. Uh, smoked yogurt. Now this is the one that really had me kind of craving. Uh, it's no secret that Charlie Noble is a big fan of our white fours, but this recipe will remain under lock and key. Sweet tobacco, velvety vanilla, layers of caramel, and twisted with a smooth yogurt. Sounds crazy, but vapes like a dream. Well, let me be the judge of that. <laughs> Just so happens that I have it right here. This stuff is seriously... You know I wasn't going to give it away, right? <laughs> Last but not least is the chocolate mousse. Yes, we found the perfect chocolate. Not too sweet, not too bitter, not too overpowering. It created a light and delicious chocolate mousse. Then we blended that mousse with a smooth and creamy vanilla yogurt and just a hint of tartness to balance the flavors. No spoons required. So as you can see, their descriptions on these are extremely enticing. And without giving too much away, I'm going to tell each and every person out there watching this video that if you are a fan of yogurt, if you are a fan of chocolates, tobaccos, vanillas, strawberries, blueberries, creams, everything, go out and buy yourself. This is $20. You can get it at vapedojo.com. It's one of the best buys I've ever um, had or I've ever bought. Is that how you say it? Vapedojo.com, $20. Easy, easy, easy. Try it. I promise you'll like it. Okay. Speaking of the dojo, yes, yes, yes. I got myself a new atomizer. Super, super jazz. Check this out. The REM. I don't know much about this atomizer. I actually seen it for the first time up at that Route 1 Vapor Shop, and they just happened to sell it at VapeDojo.com. This thing's $35. It's built with all Delrin. It's really, really neat. It performs good. We'll talk about it another time, but I just wanted you guys to see how cute it was. I know, right? Hmm. I wonder what's in there. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, guys. So here it is. This is like the pinnacle of what I wanted to talk about today. I am so excited that I finally got this in the mail. And I'm telling you, I have always been one of those people that ha is afraid of buying stuff off of sites that I don't know about, okay? So for me, like, I'm just like, oh God, I see something and I always think that it is going to be too good to be true. Like if the price is too good, I'm like, eh, it's probably like a fake or it's probably like something's wrong with it and that's why they're selling it, whatever the case may be. So you guys know that I've been on the lookout to buy my first authentic mechanical mod, right? 
Well, I was toss. It was a toss up between the Limitless mod with buying the sleeve on the side, or the tugboat v2 that comes with the top cap that matches your tugboats uh and three um actually the third one kind of just came to me like recently i wasn't really sure about it until um and i'll leave that one a secret because i may be getting it so if i get it then i'll come to you guys and show you it but for now let's just hold that off <laughs> let's make it a secret so anywho the other day I was on the website and I was looking for the best deal. I didn't think I was going to be able to find any place to buy those mods for any less of a dollar amount as they were on the sites I was looking. Well, I was wrong. I went on to a site called www.viper-vape.com, okay? They sell all kinds of stuff, okay? I would compare it to Vapor DNA, but Vapor DNA is like in a league of its own. They sell more stuff than anything, okay? Um, but this site absolutely does sell a ton of stuff. And I was able, able to find the Limitless mod uh, for like 25% cheaper, uh, as well as the Tugboat mod. So the Tugboat mod normally comes uh, about 150 bucks. I found it for 125. So the price was definitely right for me and I ended up picking it up and here it is. In the past, this type of mod may have been something that would worry me, okay? I worry about a lot of things. I'm kind of one of those people that's paranoid about everything. But like we've discussed, as long as you are following simple rules, okay, like Ohm's Law, battery safety, you do not have to be afraid of this, okay? You always wanna be cautious, but you don't wanna be scared because these things can be extremely safe as long as you are careful with them. You see all these horror stories about people blowing themselves up or whatever, and it's nine times out of 10, it's always user error. Someone puts things in their pocket, they put loose batteries in their pocket with loose change, uh, they put uh, the wrong type of atomizer on hybrid um, connection, which is not a good thing. And if anybody out there is not familiar with what a hybrid means or whatever, because I wasn't sure about it for a while. Basically, in a nutshell, it just means that when you look at your mod and you look at the hole or where you're screwing your atomizer, you're not going to see uh, any type of uh, anything that's going to be separating the Ma, uh, the atomizer to the battery, okay? So usually when you have, say for instance, your uh, Nemesis or whatever, the top part comes off of the mod, you screw your atomizer down, and then underneath the top, it has that little tiny, tiny like screws so you can adjust for battery rattle or whatever. Well, on something like this, there's nothing. It's just a hole that you put your atomizer in and it connects to the battery once you press the button, okay? So it's basically eliminating voltage drop and all that good stuff. And it's a great, great mod. And I really think that uh, if more people did their homework about stuff like this, then they wouldn't have these big, huge drama things happen. And also, if more people that are so anti this stuff did the research or just looked and seen what people are doing with them, then they wouldn't worry so much. But anyway, that's besides the point. I'm getting crazy. <laughs> so, this mod is so fun, okay? I'm so excited. I just love it so much. First off, I love the whole tugboat thing. Flawless is like a cool company. The tugboat is an awesome atomizer, uh, and this mod is just perfect. Once I have it for a while, I'll come back on and we'll talk more about it. But for right now, I just wanted to kind of show it off. I'm so excited. It's like my little prized possession right now. The button is kind of like, it takes a little bit to push it and you need to lose a lot of muscle, but that's good. I like that. There's a little weight to it. It's copper and it's it's plated with a Cerakoted or carotid or whatever. I don't know what that means either. And that's why we're not going to do a review on it. We're just going to show it off because I don't know everything about it. What I do know is that I have a safe battery in there. I have a safe atomizer in there. I have a very safe build in there. And I'm using it with one of my favorite juices, Sick Boy, Capitonic, Delish. And I'm just so happy. So now I have to start thinking about what my next purchase is going to be. I think I'm going to get the Limitless. I don't know. We'll see. Let's take a vape. Ah, delicious. I want to just say this really quick. 
just because I'm rocking this mod and just because I'm using a hybrid style mod does not mean that I am looking to become a big ch cloud chaser. In fact, the um, build I have on here is a 0.3 ohm build, okay? It's a dual 24 gauge, seven wraps. Um, and I can never know what size the stupid thing is I'm wrapping around, uh, but it measured out, measured out. It ohmed out to about 0.3 ohms, okay? So for me, it's perfect because you figure if it was on 0.3 on a regular mod, then it may kind of not be as like hardcore as you want it to be. However, on this with the no voltage drop, it's just the perfect, perfect vape, okay? I don't need it to go down below into like these like pushing the limits type stuff. Not that I'm against it, I think it's great, it's just not for me. And I never want to make anybody feel like that's the thing to do because unless, like I said, unless you're you're doing your homework and you study about it and you learn about it, you know, then it can be fun, but too many people don't. So I love this mod. I'll get back to you guys about it when I actually use it for a while. And uh, I'll keep you guys informed of how awesome I love it. And I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, and it came with a vape sock, which is so funny too, because I was like, why would I need this? And I didn't know that these vape socks were so cute and they like actually feel like they're good quality. And you stick your mod in there and you can have a battery in there. Actually, I probably keep my battery. No, you keep your mod in here, batteries in there. And then you can like, look at, you can buckle it. <laughs> Anyways, so. That's what I got today. Uh, all this stuff that I have been getting, we're going to talk about it more in depth, uh, you know, going down, except for the Inican Disruptor. I think I got my point across. The thing is really, really cool. But just a cool int informational video for you guys. So you can see what's out there and, you know what, make a decision based on some of these uh, purchases. Let me spend the money. You guys can just, like, you know, take it and run. And uh, we'll get back together some other time and have a lot of fun. What I'm gonna do is leave a link in the description for the contest that I have going on. Remember, you are in uh, for a treat to try Platinum Label Vapors Juice. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the video. You have to watch and follow the rules or whatever, and uh, you can win. Uh, sharing and liking these videos is only gonna help me produce more. And of course, always fight for your right to vape because we're not gonna get there without all of you people doing it, uh, and nobody's gonna do it for us, and of course, Stay fabulous, people, because we all know I'm going to. Mm -hmm.